breaking news shocking events caught on camera you won't believe your eyes make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video share this video comment down below and remind y'all this is some insane advisory let's go Truckloads of FBI agents descended on a Canoga Park neighborhood this afternoon during the search for a suspect. Frightened neighbors say they had no idea what was happening as fully armed law enforcement arrived with a warrant. KTLA Samantha Cortez is live in Canoga Park with more. Samantha. This is crazy. Who are they searching for? Sharon, Micah, neighbors say they still don't know why the FBI was here. We've reached out to them to understand why this show of force in Canoga Park. As you mentioned, dozens of officers, they're in full camo. They have rifles. Some of them were clearly playing clothes investigators who revealed their badge after this warrant was announced throughout the neighborhood. And up next, you'll hear from neighbors who said flashbangs came into their home. They what? lived right next door to this person, and it's an interview you will only see on five. This is crazy. <laughs> a message from the FBI echoed through this Canoga Park neighborhood Tuesday. Yo, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Yo, and they keep saying the FBI. This is more than the FBI. We got people in tankers, army fatigue. FBI don't move like that, do they? FBI be coming in all types of plain clothes and stuff of that nature. And I see an army, people from the army, FBI agent, plain clothes agent, all types of scenario going on over here. Who is this one person y'all trying to get? And y'all terrorizing the whole community, getting this one person. People said even flash grenade came inside their apartment. Yo, this is crazy. What, what type? What is this person on? Is he a serial killer? What is he a terrorist? Y'all throwing flash grenade and blinding. Yo, this is crazy. Armed trucks, dozens of FBI agents, and federal investigators swarmed this townhome on Hart Street. Evidence of a forced entry seen on the front door. We did come out freaking out. Demir lives in the connecting unit with his mom and Aunt Taylor. They were terrified. Just on like a regular morning, a regular day, making my potatoes and bacon and eggs. And then I just see my mom turn around. My mom had like this scared, like this scared look on her face. And I like I looked at her and I was like, what are you looking at like that? So I go and I just hear like boom. Boom, I'm like not knowing what that is. I'm like not, know, not knowing what that sound is. So I go look. I look outside and I just hear bang, flash bang in my face. So I'm just disoriented. I'm trying to run upstairs. The police banging on the doors, all sorts of stuff. So I just, I was just in fear the whole time, man. I'm thinking, I'm telling my auntie to call 911. She like, this is 911. So I'm not knowing what to do. I'm not knowing what to do. I was just this afraid. crazy. And I, I was just trying to get away as fast as I could. I'm like, what's going on? Um, I see my nephew. I just see boom. I'm like, oh my God, they just shot my family. Like, oh, they man. just shot my family. So I start running. We, we run upstairs. I keep hearing a couple more. I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm like this. I'm thinking, I'm about to get shot. Like, I'm about to die. And um, we tried to go downstairs with our hands up. They like, go back in the house. So we went back in the house. We sitting there scared. And yeah, they told us we come outside. And that, that was it. Demir and Taylor said the man who eventually surrendered without incident is nice but they don't know much else. Yo, this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, this is crazy. When we went to go ask, what, why are y'all here? And he, they were just telling us, oh yeah, we just got a search warrant for his crib. We just got a search warrant for his house. And we asking them like, like, can we know what happened? We got explosives thrown in our living room. Like we trying to know what's up. We, can, we eating potatoes. We can even eat breakfast in peace. But yeah, I was just in fear, sir. That's the only thing I, I knew was fear at that moment. Yo, this is crazy. This is insane. Nobody in this community in this community still don't know why the FBI, why the army. Yeah, I'm saying my man with the army fatigue right there, his shirt say FBI. Okay, so if that's how the FBI be coming down in army fatigue looking like looking like the army, I ain't even know that. This is my first time noticing that. The FBI rolls like that. 
you know what i'm saying i ain't even know that that's crazy wow so they came like this like the army and they were throwing flash grenade flash bombs and stuff of that nature and you heard what the neighbor said he said that man is a nice man so we don't know what's going on and the plain clothes police the plain clothes investigators the fbi nobody telling telling them nothing it's crazy late let's move on to the next story been living in fear residents in a beverly grove neighborhood are on alert tonight after being targeted by a sophisticated burglary crew the what? thieves have hit multiple homes in the area and they keep coming back chris wolf live in beverly grove with a story you'll see only on five chris absolutely that's right micah and share neighbors i spoke with tonight feel that they just don't know where to turn they feel helpless they say that beverly grove is under attack that's with crazy. criminals casing out potential targets or striking on practically a daily basis out here what? they believe that the criminal justice system has abandoned them and now they have Aww. to fend for themselves that's crazy no police <laughs> Turning the tables on an intruder in Beverly Grove. The explosive encounter was recorded last Thanksgiving, but victims are sharing footage with KTLA 5 News for the first time, saying they have to speak out. This happened at a home along Maryland Drive. The victims later received a note from the district attorney's office explaining plans for prosecution, but the victims do not know what became of the case. They have boosted security at their home with cameras and sensors, but none of those measures seem to deter others intent on breaking in. Yo, this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, they said people said they don't even know what to do anymore because it's getting out of control. They got cameras, doorbell cameras, alarm, everything that you supposed to have. And these crooks they don't care they still coming they not getting no help from from the authorities yo only thing leave for them to do is probably move it's crazy and it's a seems like a good neighborhood yo this is crazy after various failed attempts during the last several months when yes someone was home hooded masked criminals finally succeeded on the morning of may 2nd of this year when the house was unoccupied except for levi the dog with parts of the crime captured on surveillance footage the intruders found a way to scale the back side of the house gaining entry through a second story atrium and smashing a glass door Yo. they stole heirlooms jewelry and other valuables Homeowners Eddie and Lena do not want to give their last names. They explain there have been close to a dozen burglaries in the area within the last couple of months and that many victims are just too frightened to come forward. The neighbors are fed up. Tell me about that. Well, I think that we're under siege and I don't know how else to put it. Um, you know, every day there's something going on on our street and the streets surrounding us. Every day we don't know who's getting attacked, who's getting broken into, who's getting home invaded. And it's all hours of the day. It's all hours of the night. We don't feel safe in our own homes. It's, it's not okay. It's no way to live. Eddie, Lena, and other victims believe the same criminals hit two other homes in the neighborhood about one week earlier. Cap Yo, this is crazy, yo. This is insane. They not getting any help at all from the police. And I'm saying these people, I'm tired of saying this. You working so hard buying the stuff them you need for you and your family, paying your tax. And then these fools, these crooks have nothing to lose. Just break inside of your house, take whatever they want destroy your home and there is nobody to help you do nothing it's crazy yo it's crazy and then if you probably buy a weapon and protect yourself and probably shoot one of them you gonna end up in prison yo the law is just not on your side on surveillance footage from those locations we we support the police we we know that they're here for us in the community they're putting their lives on the line and it's just terrible that this is what it's become and i think it trickles down from you know our local government look at our da look at what's happening it's not working who is this 
Exactly. It's all about the government. You know what I'm saying? Your local people them that you have in charge trigger down trigger up to the to the highest one trigger back down to the lower those the people that's in charge that's not getting the job done and y'all working hard paying your taxes and these people is just letting all these criminals do whatever they want it's crazy it seems like it's a business or something i don't know what's going on it's working for who's benefiting from all, all these changes facts who's benefiting from all of this that's that's the that's a very good question right there because it's not the residents it's not the homeowners they they are being terrorized by crooks people breaking inside of their home taking whatever they want as soon as they leave the house here they come yo i don't like this at all ladies and gentlemen make sure y'all be safe out there make sure y'all be vigilant I'm telling y'all peace and love and we up out of here.